Coming up next, a singles match. Kotaro Suzuki versus Yuya Susumu. He's held the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team title five times. His last reign was with Atsushi Kotogi as Stinger. That ended in March 2020. Before that, he held the Junior Heavyweight Tag title with Yoshinari Ogawa. Suzuki stays super active, primarily with Noah, of course. Today's his 18th match this year alone, and we're still in April. Aside from his consistent wrestling mark, what really impresses you about Suzuki? With Suzuki, of course, it's his longevity. He's been with Noah since the very beginning. He debuted in 2001. He was personally trained by Mitsuhao Misawa, very, one of the first trainees to debut from Noah's dojo. He's won all the accolades possible in the junior heavyweight division, and he's still at the top of his game at 42 years old. Good reactions there from Susumu. Of course, he's going to be buoyed by that victory, as you mentioned, Stuart, over Hijime O'Hara. But now Susumu's on the pay-per-view stage in singles action for the first time in Noah. And he's up against his former friend turned Noah nemesis Suzuki. And Susumu is looking for a breakout match in pro wrestling Noah. Getting into some finer points here with the wrist fighting. Looking for control. Very, very nimble work there from Suzuki. Very neatly done. This match between these two gentlemen is a real treat for pro wrestling fans. They be in the middle. Drop kick from Susumu. Lightning fast exchanges oh, here. Wow. The crowd appreciating this action in the Goya. I want to see a replay of that. You can see the clear ability that Susumu possesses. That's why Suzuki brought him in to Pro Wrestling Noah with a tag team in mind. Susumu has betrayed him, betrayed the faith that he showed in him. Now he's siding with Stinger. Will be in action shortly. There's so much going on with all these factions. It's difficult to keep up. Yeah, you can't rule anything out or predict anything in Noah's junior heavyweight division. But we do know these are two of the very best in the world in the junior heavyweight category. It's funny though, Mark, it seems to reflect all of the upheaval in general last year around the world. That's true, Stuart. There's a lot of movement, different groups, people trading off, people chasing titles. You have to keep your eyes firmly on this division. Oh, look at that. See that crank there, Mark? That yeah, wasn't just a crank. Shoulders are down. Forcing the elbow into the, the space between the shin bone and the calf muscle. It's incredibly painful if you've ever had a wrestler do that to you. Really nice catch wrestling technique. Oh, solid knee. Looked like he was Suzuki. faking the lariat there. There's a scent on. This is a looking powerful. So calm and collected. 20 years experience, but he can still work very fast pace. He looked to take the contest to his opponent. He's one of those guys that you never see him lose to his emotions. He always uses it. Yeah, very and calm and collected in control. Likes to set high work rate. Tremendous capacity, tremendously well-rounded as well. You see, they know each other so well. A lot of these in-close exchanges, there's a lot going on that I guess you're right. You know. There's a splash. Takes the back. He put pressure on the midsection of Susumu. No wasted movements or wasted energy at all from Suzuki. Susumu takes it. He says, nope, not giving up. He's looking for the rope. Executing his game plan very effectively so far, Suzuki. Suzuki starting to lock up now with that. Okay, no break. No break. No break. Gets the roll break. break. Okay. Gonna have to stand. 
with the apron. Oh no. Right in front of the Japanese commentary booth there, sends in a low body shot. Folds him over. Five minutes into the match now. Otaro Suzuki still in control. Off the guardrail. Susumu gets folded again. Okay. Referee calling them to get back into the ring. Suzuki answers and rolls over the apron back in there. This matchup has been much in the making. Suzuki has been waiting to try and get some revenge against Susumu. They did meet in December, one on one singles action, but that ended in a disqualification after interference from Stinger, Nasawa, and Hiraka. Susumu cleverly using all the time he had there to recover his back in and start to launch his attack, but Suzuki was waiting for him. And sends him down to the Noah logo once again. Horrific. One after the other. One attack upon the other from Kotaro Suzuki here in this singles match. Nor the Glory 2021 in Nagoya, live and direct on Fight TV. Get yourselves on social media. What's the hashtag, Mark? Noah underscore GHC. Join in with all the discussion. Let us know your predictions for the title matches. Nice high kick there. Susumu. Set flip. Stays on top of him. Straight into the cross face. Gets the rope break with his feet. See how quickly Suzuki moved towards the ropes there. Susumu just hanging on to that a little bit longer, putting on the hurt. Just seen how much he can get away with from the referee. Big knee. DDT. He keeps control of the neck. It's a suplex. Great suplex there from Susumu looking for the three count. Just a fraction away. He's out. Tremendous junior heavyweight action here. Still holding on to his midsection there, Susumu, after all those body attacks outside and inside of the ring from Kotaro Suzuki. The crowd here in Nagoya now getting behind them. Which man can take the vital win today? Suzumi ramps it up. Oh, huge shot from Suzuki. Follows up. Flying knee there. Comes back. Oh, there's the pit blaster. Trademark handspring back elbow from Suzuki. Fantastic counter. So smoothly executed. Picks him up. Looks like he was going for the blue destiny. Double knee drop there. Suzuki on the wrong end of that one. We'll get the pin. Left shoulder came up just in time from Suzuki. <laughs> Huge side <laughs> kick, but replying with an uppercut, Suzuki. Oh, there's the Excalibur. <laughs> to the speed of these exchanges. Huge power moves there. Release German suplex. Both men down. Susumu digging deep. Suzuki trying to gather his thoughts. This has turned out to be the exchange we expected. Tit for tat. Back and forth. You can see why they had so much promise as a tag team. That's not how things unfolded. They're putting on a masterclass right now. Changing elbows now in the center of the ring. Moving to the kicks now, Susumu. 
Big European uppercut. Now elbows, rolling elbow. Oh, spinning heel kick there from Susumu. Rocked Suzuki. Didn't send him down, but that one did. Ten minutes into this singles match, folks. Got a transition from Tsumo into the cross face. Oh, cross face, he's got the arm trapped as well. And he looks like he's right in the centre of the ring as well. Tough spot for Kotaro Suzuki. What can he do from here? He needs to reach the ropes. Yes! Tsumo's pulling back on the face, the head of Tsumo. Wrenching the nose up and the neck. Oh, look at that. Oh, counter from Suzumu. Look at that. Supreme skill. Shoulders are down. Suzumu getting absolutely no time to set anything up there. Suzuki staying on him. Oh, did he get it? That's it. Looked like the referee counted both men's shoulders down. We'll have to wait for the decision. They're both looking at <laughs> like they won. Who took that? Kota or Suzuki or Yuya Susumu? Both men's shoulders were down like he said. The three count was given. It looks like the referee has given it to Suzuki. No, he's called a draw. How about that? Neither of these two men, former friends, former tag team partners, able to edge out the decision to find the weakness in the other. プロレス。ここにあります。さまざまなプロレスコンテンツが月額900円でいつでもどこでも見放題。ここでしか見られない試合もプロレス見るならレッスルユニバース。